So I was thinking about doing a flood coat. See, I've got the resin already in there, but I kind of changed my mind and I'm doing something different. Hang on. I did this pour in a tray last week and I had some extra resin and I kept pouring and pouring until I used it all up, of course. And this one turned out really pretty. But I think I want to do a little bit more on it. So we're mixing up some resin. I've got a little bit left over. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do some white and play with some wispies. But I think I'm also going to play with gold interference and I wonder if I should throw a color in let's see so we got the brights in there I think I should continue to do the brights <sighs> fluorescent purple I think that would look pretty because and the reason why I say that is in my whites and I'm I know I'm running you guys back and forth in my studio sorry about that I, what I've done is it's resin uh, just resin titanium white in there. That's the prominent white color and then I've added a couple little dribble bits of passion color the um, the base cell so that should give me some Potential cells, but if I have a color in there and I run the color over it That's where the cell action can come into play, but I think I need to have a bold color in there, too So yeah, I I'm gonna mix up some fluorescent purple, too so let me put you guys up so I can get another cup out and pour a little bit more resin. To recap on my colors, so I've got some fluorescent oranges, uh, violets, it's violet, not purple, sorry, and yellow in here, and as well as some gold and interference gold. So I'm picking up a couple of the similar colors, like I've got the fluorescent violet again, so I'm making that a little bit more dominant because it was kind of lost in here. I got a little bit of a hint of it. And then I've got the interference gold, which is really super pretty. Now keep in mind it's a purple stick before. <laughs> so the purple showing through and then a white. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread out my clear and then make uh, a couple lines of this and bring them over. So I'm hoping to get some cell action like that with it. If not, I'm gonna add a little bit of zing to it. So and I'm okay with having some zing of color. But um, I did three trays in these in this color combination, and two of them are looking fairly similar. So it was kind of bugging me a bit, and I wanted it to be a little bit more different. Yep, and I think I see it here. So instead of this being a flood coat, that's all right. It's going to be my second layer because sometimes you just need a second layer of color. All right. So here's the part that's not so exciting. How about this? I'm going to pause and come back. So this was going to be a flood coat, which will bring it up to the food grade safe level again. But since I'm adding color to the flood coat, pretty much eliminates that food safe thing. Um, and whenever you add colors, that, that's exactly what happens there. So way to get the food grade safe back again is just do another clear coat of resin. And definitely one that's clearly been approved for being food safe. So what that means, and I'll just go ahead and talk about that since I am pouring, but let me decide where I'm gonna pour first. I've got some nice stuff going on here. I don't really wanna eliminate that. So maybe what I'm gonna do is that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put the violet down first and then the gold and then the white and then move the violet over the white. And that should get me the um, those cells.
And because it's a second layer, I'm gonna get some added depth to it as well. So that'll be really cool. I am putting down all of this violet that I can. Okay. So the food grade safety, what basically what it means is food coming in contact with it. In other words, like um, I'm serving a bunch of fruit on a platter or something like that to in a party um, or, you know, your spouse, you know, breakfast in bed, that kind of thing with coffee and croissants, hint, hint, wink, wink, um, <laughs> that kind of thing. But what I'm not saying is this is acting like a plate in which you cut on and eat off of directly. So that is not what you want to do with resin at all. And I, I don't think there's any resin that's been approved to be acting like a plate or a bowl to eat directly out of. In fact, um, tumblers, I'm thinking about doing some tumblers up because they're just, you know, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I'll definitely probably put a rim of tape around just before the math area where you would go to drink. Okay, so this area here, what I did before is I heated up with a heat gun and I blew it over. I'm gonna do the same thing here so that way we're not looking at a couple different techniques, we're looking at just one technique. I'm just going to heat the thing overall. Oops. All right, and then just push it. I've got some cell action happening here. And I'm wondering if I need to do a little one somewhere else. I'm not getting a lot happening over here. I just feel like doing this. I noticed these guys in the background. And I thought with the uh, transparency nature of this particular fluorescent that it would look really pretty. And it's a way of me incorporating this color into what's going on here. There we go. Just trying to get to move around the side there. There we go.
And now you notice while we've been sitting here, more cells have been starting to pop up. Yay. And I wonder if I can... Bring just a few over here. Just for a little consistency. All right, bring a little color over here. All right, now do I need a little over here? That's what I'm wondering. I am at the bottom of my cup here. Let's see if I can get a little more. Just enough of this white for a reaction to happen. I'm gonna try and get it so I can blow it that way. Yeah. I didn't go too far there. Let's just get rid of some bubbles. And get that little hair out of there. There's always a little hair. Nope, it's still there. That was a dust bunny. All right, let me bring you in for a close-up. It's got a lot more drama to it. Are you ready for the zoom? Spunk. Whoops. Okay, my fingers are dirty. I'm gonna get the two and all right, here we are, zoomed in. So I'm getting some cells in this little area there. That's what I was hoping for. So that way they can mingle with those guys, or at least look like it. See, and there's kind of a lot of little flamey looking bits with the yellow. So I wanted to do some flamey bits with the purple too, or the violet. But I like the transparent, but yet creamy nature of this particular color. Since I've got a lot of, um, I guess you could say almost like a pearlescent type or glittery look to the other colors. So it complements well. So yeah, I'm happy with that.
All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up.